Hi, I'm Paul Hansma, an inventor and physicist at UCSB and Active Life Scientific and former chronic pain sufferer. Physicists love to build models. This one can help you understand the key to overcoming chronic pain. During normal activities, the sensors in our body send small signals as when I squeeze this wrist. These small signals will not cause pain. If the signals increase, like for a hand in a vise, these large signals travel up the spinal cord to the brain. The brain creates the experience of pain by activating pain areas indicated by these lights. The brain creates the experience of pain to help you. In this case, help you know not to tighten the vise too much. When the signals are reduced, the pain goes away. This is as it should be. If, however, the brain continues to generate the experience of pain for three months or more, the brain gets good at it. Just like learning to ride a bike. Neurons that fire together, wire together. Sensitization increases. With increased sensitization, just doing normal activities can cause intense pain because sensitization is like a volume control for pain. The problem is not the normal activities. The problem is sensitization. You can take pills or injections of opioids to make the pain go away, but of course the pain comes back, eventually worse. If you keep taking them, the opioids can further increase sensitization. At this point, you might be tempted to keep trying therapies for your body because that is where you feel the pain. But the pain is there even for no signal from the body. The problem is not the body. The problem is sensitization. The key to overcoming chronic pain is reducing sensitization. The key to overcoming chronic pain is reducing sensitization. You can pause this slide and the next to find techniques for reducing sensitization. Learning, activity, biofeedback, guided imagery, and meditation. I encourage you, if you are in chronic pain, you can greatly diminish or totally overcome it. Thank you.